You know, I had a neighbor growing up with a name right out of Dickens. Mr. Charles Hazard. And Mr. Hazard didn't like the neighborhood dogs messing up his flower beds. One day I heard a bunch of yelling from across the street, so I ran on over to Mr. Hazard's and there were about 15 grown-ups standing around my dog. Teddy was writhing on the ground in all his agony. Blood was pouring out of his mouth. Mr. Hazard ground up a glass bottle and put in a bowl of dog food and fed it to him. What did you do? Well, I got some gasoline and burned out his flower beds. But that wasn't satisfying enough. And then I remembered Mr. Hazard was an elected official. He was head of the town council. His re-election every two years was a foregone conclusion. So come election day, I drove over to the black section of town. Now, these people hadn't voted in any of these elections. So I was only 13, but I had a farmer's license. And I filled up my car with black voters and drove them to the polling place and then waited and drove them on home. But before they got out of the car to vote, I said, I don't mean to influence you, but I think you should know. Mr. Charles Hazard has intentionally killed my dog. About 400 ballots were cast in that election. I drove 96 of them to the polls. Hazard lost by 16 votes. And that's the day I fell in love with America. What time do we land? 7.30 a.m. in D.C. I went to CIA in my office at 10. Assistant Deputy Director or hire. Tell them that if I don't see someone at 10, I'm going to start docking their allowance at a rate of $1 million a minute. Yes, sir. You get me another one there, would you? <clears throat> yes, sir. <laughs> 